Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to another video. Today I have a different kind of video that I wanted to make and it has something to do with the relatively new Blooming Rooms kit, which is the plant kit that was released back in November 2021. And while I'm talking about this kit in particular, I will be showing you a speed build in the background for a plant shop slash mini home on top of it. So the Blooming Rooms kit. A lot of builders, including myself, were very excited to get this pack, and I think the pack was actually really good. I feel like they covered a lot of item types for a plant kit, and I have a few items that I actually use all the time from that kit. However, in my opinion, it was a little bit too eccentric and flashy. So my idea of kits is that they are these collection of cast build items or gameplay mechanics that are kind of niche, right? So plant kit is supposed to cater to plant lovers, but in my opinion, this kit looks more like a plant store kit rather than a plant collection kit for like your everyday builds. Some of the items are just not that versatile to me and I'll show you what I mean in a bit. So my idea for this video was that I wanted to do like sort of a repackage of this kit by using custom content. So please bear in mind that this will be based on my opinion and experience playing the game and my personal preference towards certain plants. And please feel free to disagree. Maybe you really really like the kit and think that it's already perfect as is. Or if you have any other CC packs that you think might represent this kit better, feel free to drop them down in the comments. Also, I will try to list the individual CC that I use in the description below, so please please do check these awesome creators out. They really do elevate my gameplay experience and they deserve all the love, credit, and patrons on Patreon. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the Blooming Room skit comes with 24 individual items in buy mode, which are not only in the plants category, but also some of them are like shelves, tables, lamps, and even curtains. But looking through all these 24 items, I just think that they are a little bit too extra. Like for example, these two tables, one for the end table and one for the accent slash hallway table. While they are very aesthetically beautiful, I just simply kind of find very much use to it. I only like ever use it maybe once. And it's for a very specific type of build. And so for a lot of the items in this kit, I kind of feel that way too. Like I kind of imagine this kit to be like sort of the plant bible or the plant essential for houses, you know? Because I think it's the most common build that people do and therefore house plants. I really thought that they were going to make that sort of collection. So for this quote unquote repackage, I will try to fit 24 different items from different CC packs from different creators. Some will come from the same pack or creators just because I just chose 24 what most resonates with me. And I will also count the short, medium, or tall wall height item variation as one. So let's just start with the first item and that is set of cacti little nature this is from the plant life kit by max 20 it costs 45 simoleons and in my opinion is one of the most usable plants ever it can go on top of kitchen counters on a bay window on the dining or living room table and on top of desks it's just so versatile in my opinion and it has quite a few neutral swatches and it's quite small so it's definitely worth getting okay so another plant from the plant life kit by max 20 is this cactus spirit so this plant is actually quite big and bulky but it sizes down nicely so it can be put in a lot of different surfaces but mostly on the floor. I just think that this is one of those house plants that are in a lot of indoor gardens in houses or maybe near big windows or even maybe outside. The third one is the plant New Ground, also from the Plant Life Kit by Max20. This is sort of a fan palm plant and it's pretty big. It can fit in the living room next to a TV and style wise I think it goes well with items from Eco Lifestyle, maybe Dream Home Decorator and Tiny Living. It's simplistic and it comes in a quite a few swatches for the pots and I think it can be sized down nicely. Okay, for number 4, it's gonna be the Monstera in a pot. This is from the Master Bedroom Pack by Max20. So, Monstera is my current favorite plant, and if I don't have to make a variation of plants to go on a plant pack, I would have made a 24 item Monstera pack instead. But since I don't want to make a boring video, I decided to choose two Monstera plants to go on this repackage. And this plant in particular is just so, so well made. It sizes down nicely, it has a few swatches for the pot. The only downside is that it's a 
tad bit dark even in well lit rooms but I still think it's beautiful. Number 5, this is the mini greenhouse Easy Benz. It's from the Cozy Backyard Pack by Max20 and I just think that this huge rarium style plant is just so fascinating. It's not as versatile as the other plants but I still think that it can be put in a lot of different builds and it's just so beautiful especially in the white swatch and the black swatch. Moving on to number 6, this is the leaves in a vase from the Oak House Pack by Purisim. Okay, so even though this is just like a few leaves in a glass bottle, I don't know why but I tend to gravitate towards it when building. It's so simple because it's just green and clear glass. It only has two swatches but it sizes down nicely. I think it fits in so many styles of build and it's just one of my top top favorites. Okay, so lucky number 7 will be the Sansevieria, also from the Oak House pack by Purisim. So this is essentially just a snake plant but in a wicker basket. But it's just so well made, it has a ton of swatches, it sizes down nicely and it fits in almost every house, it's just so good. Alright, number 8 is the Stromanthi Sanguinea, also by Perisim from the Winter Garden Pack. I think the other name for this plant is the Stromanthi Triostar plant. It's so beautiful, it has this pink highlight on the green leaves. It also came with this round pot and it also has quite a few swatches and is versatile either on top of a surface or maybe on the floor. Number 9 will be the Hanging Plant, also from the Winter Garden Pack by Pierisim. Now, this is one of my favorites also. It has 3 versions for the 3 wall height. It also has a lot, and I do mean a lot of swatches. I think 38 for the different leaf color or the different rope color. Next, number 10 will be the Liz Vase, also from the Winter Garden Pack. Now, I think that this particular plant is perfect for a tabletop plant. It has this clear vase, much like the leaves in a vase plant, but with white flowers. It's perfect for a centerpiece in a dining table, and even though it only has one swatch, it's undeniably good. Now on to number 11, it's going to be the leaves and ceramic pot. This is from the office mini pack, also by Pierisim. This also fits to be put on top of a table. It can even be used sized down near the kitchen or bathroom sink. It has this more industrial look due to the pot. It also has so many swatches and the details on it are just so beautifully made. Moving on, number 12, this is the higher plant, also from the office mini pack by Pierisim. I think this is a type of a yucca plant if I'm not mistaken. I think it looks good for commercial lots and still looks good for a house plant. It has like 25 swatches for the pot in different colors. I think it's very very well made and detailed and it also sizes down nicely. Now for number 13, the Handle Pot of Plant from the Brutalist Bathroom Pack by Harry. This I think fits nicer in a commercial type build or maybe in more of an industrial type house just because of the huge concrete pot. But it also has a ton of swatches for the two different colors of the leaves. The details on the leaves where you can clearly see the spines of the leaves are very beautiful and full props to Harry for making this. Number 14, now this is the Cerulitzia Regine, it's from the Colonial Pack by Felix Andre. Okay, so other than the Monstera, there are a ton of options for the Cerulitzia plant. This is the other name for the Birds of Paradise plant. It's very very beautiful the way Felix Andre made this. I think the way the leaves look, like banana plant leaves, are just beautiful but it's still not too big for a house plant so I think it fits nicely especially in a backyard or maybe a balcony. Next on number 15 will be the foxglove vase from the organic pack by Harry and Felix Andre. Now this plant is huge. I think that it's perfect for a tabletop plant but for the entrance area of a rich person's house. It has a lot of swatches for the different color for the flowers and it actually sizes down very nicely so it can fit on a dining room table. But it also looks nice on the floor maybe next to a kitchen counter or a dining table. 
Alright, for number 16, this is the Heliconia Bouquet. It's from Harry and Felix Andre's latest collab CC pack, the Harold Lux. Now, this plant is arguably the best looking table plant in the entire game. The colors on it, the different tropical plants fit into a glass vase. Also, the details of the leaves and flowers and how it drapes outwards. I think this is one of the most beautiful plants as of now, and it also has a ton of swatches too. On to number 17, now this is the pot of palm tree, also from the Harlock spec by Harry and Felix Andre. Now for the pot of palm trees, there's also quite a few options, but I think currently this is the best looking one so far that is at least a little bit different than the one that we have in the game. The details on the plant stem is beautiful and the color dimensions from the stem to the leaves are just so good. For number 18, we have the Monstera Wall. This is from the bathroom pack by Harry and Felix Andre. So this item, it has three versions for the three wall height and the price is just increased by one small units each. So 923 small units for the small wall, 924 small units for the medium, and 925 small units for the tall wall height. Now, as I said before, I do have a certain bias for Monstera plants. So this is definitely one of my favorite items in the whole game. The details on it, the texture is just so beautiful. I think this fits maybe in a fancy bathroom, but I also think this fits so well on a commercial lot where there's an empty space on the wall. Next for number 19, this is the Ikebana Bowl from the Living Room Pack by Harry and Felix Andre. This small item I think fits so well either on a coffee table, on a dining room table, a kitchen counter, or a wall shelving unit. It has quite a few swatches for the bowl and the leaf colors, and I think it fits well with the items from the Snowy Escape Expansion Pack. Okay, on to number 20, we have the Ivy Sculpture from the Living Room Pack by Harry and Felix Andre. I originally have something else to put at this spot, but ultimately decided to put this here for variety purposes. So this is like a statue that is also an Ivy pot on top of the head. The uses for this is quite limited, but I still think that even in bookshelves, it still looks good as like a color item rather than a statue or a bust. And it comes in 10 swatches for the different stone colors. So for number 21, this one has the same name as number 9, which is the Hanging Plant. This is from the Kitchen Pack by Harry and Alexandre and it has 75 simoleons. So I wanted to include this here because it has a string of leaves hanging on the bottom, hence the name. It comes in a wicker basket and it also has a small pot of plant next to it. This is one of those very versatile type of plant that can be used wherever, on top of a table, a kitchen counter, or even a bookshelf in all types of builds. On to the next one for number 22, we have the Stilt Planter from the Mid-Century Abode by Peacemaker. Now I think this is an Ugleonema plant or a Chinese evergreen type plant. I think it looks very good on stilts, I see this a lot in plant shops and the wood tone just brings an earthy vibe to a home. And it also comes in 15 whole swatches for the pot. Now for the second to last, number 23, we have the Arts Line by 6MCC. So the whole catalog for the Arts Line pack doesn't have a name, it's just named Arts Line. But this is the small plant or succulent plant that is on a squared pot on top of wooden stilts. I think this is my most used plant out of all the other plants in this video. There's just so many uses for this. I always use it for my desks and it also looks good near sinks, on top of shelves, near windows, etc. There's just so so many uses for this plant and it looks really great too, even zoomed in it still looks fairly detailed. It comes in 9 swatches for the pot and the stilts and it is only 25 simoleons. Last but not least, on number 24, we have the Plant in Pot Alien. This is from the Dining Room Pack by Max20. So I have this fascination with big luscious green plants and I think that this banana leaf plant is just so so beautiful. It looks really great size down and it looks great indoors and outdoors. I use it in bedrooms, dining rooms, even bathrooms and also backyards. It costs 120 simoleons and it comes in 6 swatches for the pot. 
and that's it. That's my attempt at repackaging the Blooming Rooms kit. I know that there are not as much item varieties as in the kit, but I think for such a limited 24 slots, it's better to fit in as many plants as possible as opposed to tables and shelves. So here's the final screenshots for the 24 plants that I used. I'll list all of them in the description below. Also, there are a few honorable mentions, 18 of them actually, that almost made it into the video, but I had to cut them out due to lack of space or there already being a similar item in the game. Here they are and I will also list them down in the description below. That's it for this video, all that's left is the remaining footage of the speed build. I tried to fit all of the 24 final plants in the house above the plant shop, excluding one, so spot them and see how much they elevate this plant shop owner's mini home. After this, we will be moving on to the screenshots and as always, what do you guys think of the video? Do you guys agree, disagree, or do you have any recommendation for custom content for plant lovers such as myself? And also, what do you guys think of the build? This build will be on the Sims 4 gallery. My ID is LouisRP7, that is L-O-U-I-S-R-P7. Even though I don't think this is downloadable due to how many CC items that I used. And what do you guys think I should build next time? Leave it down in the comments below if you have any ideas and don't forget to like the video, share it, and hit the subscribe button. I post my videos on Fridays, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!